This year's annual plenary assembly of the Catholic Bishops' Conference was held in Obuase, where the devastating effects of illegal mining is visible. To appreciate the devastation caused by the menace, the bishops made visits to the Jimmy River and some communities negatively affected by the illegal mining. At the opening of the conference, Bishop of Obuasi Diocese, Most Reverend John Yao Afuakwa, highlighted the spate of damage in areas within the church's reach. All parishes and quasar parishes with their respective stations are numbered 425. Out of this number, 214 stations are in Trigalamse activities. The two deaneries in Obuasi Township, Obuasi and Tutika, have as many as 67 art stations actively involved in Galamse. The week-long plenary assembly spent some time discussing illegal mining and steps to fight the menace. Though there is a push for government to strengthen its fight against the illegality, there are sets of sanctions adopted by the Catholic Church to keep members in check. President of Bishop's Conference, Most Reverend Matthew Kwesi explains. We will not accept any donations that are the fruit of illegal mining. The sanctions will be tightening further, even to the standard, if you plainly, openly uh, engage in Galamse after a series of advice and you persist in that dangerous uh, activity, we may even refuse you Holy Communion. So it's something that is ongoing. It's not that we just exert it. There will be series of warning. Stop that. Stop that. But certainly if you bring in uh, uh, money from Galamse, we do not consider that the Lord will not accept such a gift. We will refuse it immediately. You will be warned. And if you persist in it, then other sanctions will come. Meanwhile, the conference believes members of the public have roles to play in halting the illegality. Most Reverend Jemfi believes it is about time communities restrain illegal miners from polluting water bodies. The people should take it into their hands to protect their land and should not allow somebody from somewhere to come and destroy their, uh, their water. Look, this whole thing that we are talking about, about the government do this, government do this, government do this. Is it the government who is polluting the water? It is even some of us in the local communities who are doing this galamse. Then we say the government should come and save us from ourselves. No. For Joy News, Nanaya Ojima reporting.